Hello everyone, today I'm at the end of the Mersey Forest Road and I'm going to be hiking up the Moses Creek track to go to Grail Falls and also to Horrib Falls which is a waterfall I haven't been to before that's like off the main track and sort of a bush bash for a fair while. Um, Grail Falls I have been to before when I did a four day loop walk around Cradle Mountain and North Jerusalem in January last year except there was pretty much no water so Pretty much in that since then I've um, been planning a revisit to see it, you know, in its full glory, I suppose. And um, today's the day, so it should be pretty much a full day hike. Um, starting reasonably early, so definitely have enough time. And yeah, I'll see you a bit further along. Alrighty, maybe 10 or 15 minutes in, and I've come to this suspension bridge over Jackson's Creek. I'll be honest, it feels a bit unstable. <laughs> okay, so I've just rock hopped across this creek, which I think is unnamed, and the trail keeps going up that way. So what I'm gonna do is climb the trail until it gets to the top of that hill, and then I'm gonna start making my way across that aways, which will be the way to go to Horrib Falls. Um, on the Waterfall Tasmania website, there's like GPS tracks and stuff. If you wanna see the route I'm trying to emulate, um, because, yeah, it's pretty much the right way to go. So I'll see you when I actually duck off the track properly. Okay, so I only finished filming a couple of minutes ago, but I've climbed up this little hill. The trail seems to go off that way, which is the opposite way of where I want to go. So I'm just going to pretty much head in this direction. It looks open enough. Um, and then basically just follow my GPS sort of leading towards um, Horrib Falls, and that should get me there, I hope. Anyway, I'll give you some shots of the walk over there, just, just to give you an idea of what it's like. But, I mean, this part looks alright. But stay like this, will be cruising. Okay, so this should give some idea of how the terrain has been in the last 15 minutes or so. It's a bit, like, scrubby under foot and stuff, but not that hard to push through. I need to start heading uphill a bit more, because I've basically just been going on contour. But so far, in terms of an off-track hike, it's not super difficult, but we'll see how it goes further on. Okay, so I haven't actually filmed in a little while, but I'm getting pretty close to the falls, which you can sort of hear down that aways. Basically, I've just been pretty much picking the path of least resistance. As you can see right here, it's very open. Um, it's not been too bad. There have been a couple of spots where I had to push through a little bit of scrub, but generally been pretty cruisy. Um, I'll insert a screenshot of my um, GPS route into the video probably now when I get to the falls. Um, but yeah, this is not a hard hike by the standards of off-track hiking. And I reckon it should be a good fall. So I'll see you there, I think. I'm only a couple hundred metres away. Alrighty, so I've made this very impressive horrid fall. Cascades down over several levels. I'm going to explore them all. But it is a really nice spot and lots of water flowing too. Well, I seem to have stumbled on the old Moses Creek track on the way out, which you can sort of see underfoot. It's faint, but it's definitely visible and there's a lot of markers, so I'm going to follow it and just sort of see where it takes me. Although, I mean, off-track wasn't too hard, but 
Yeah, we'll see how this track goes. Okay, so after about 10 minutes of following what's now a fairly faint trail, I'm just gonna ditch it and head back up that way to where I came in. Actually, I can see a marker up there, so I'm just off the track. But um, I'm pretty sure this trail takes you out at Jackson's Creek or maybe even at the car park, which is further back than I wanna be. So I'm gonna see what it looks like up there, but I think I'm just gonna start heading back towards the trail um, to where I left it in the first place. Well, I've pretty much stumbled across the main track again here. Um, it's ended up taking me about an hour and a half, not including photo stops, to get to Horrib Falls and back, which according to my GPS was three and a half k's return. Um, that was at a pretty good pace, so I'd probably give yourself two hours plus stops if you're doing it. But um, back on the main track now and off to Grail Falls. Okay, so as you can tell from my panting, um, I'm going pretty steeply uphill. I haven't filmed in about half an hour, but I'm most of the way up what's well, about a 250 meter climb from the plateau, like where I was filmed before, just out of that creek drainage, and the high point before you get to Grail Falls. As you can see, this um, log crossing has sort of seen better days. Um, it's probably only a matter of time until it's totally gone. But yeah, I'm most of the way to the falls now, so. Hopefully not too much more climbing, because I'm getting pretty tired. <laughs> okay, so I've made it to Grail Falls, and they're a pretty impressive waterfall. It is slightly underwhelming, because I was expecting there to be more water. As you can see, it's all sort of just on that side. And from when they're full flow, you can kind of see a trickle in there, but there's often water over that side as well. But I'll do a bit of exploring to get a clear shot of the part that is flowing. Still a really cool spot. The lake is just down there, Junction Lake. And yeah, I'll go over that a ways a bit and try and get some cool shots. Okay, so I'm nearly at the end of the walk, well I'm maybe 15 minutes away, so I'll just finish off the video now. This is a really good walk, it's two high quality waterfalls, plus a lake, plus some really nice rainforest scenery. The um, other thing you can do, if you wanted to, is from Horrible Falls you can keep going upstream to another waterfall called Meribah Falls, which is less impressive, um, and then you can come around Chapter Lake and make like a circuit, and that's going to take about 8 hours. So that's a full day thing. It's meant to get a lot more scrubby past Horrible Falls, which is sort of why I didn't bother today. But yeah, this circuit was about, probably give yourself six hours for Horrible and Grail Falls. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.